Hey everyone, it's Greg coming to you from the corner of the basement workshop once again. Just brought the mail in after work and uh, lo and behold the uh, May issue of the Wisconsin Antique Radio Club newsletter arrived. And lo and behold the uh, cover picture looked very familiar. It's actually a picture of my 1946 Philco 1201 and uh, some Bing Crosby memorabilia with it. I have the lead article in this newsletter. It's actually an article I wrote for the Bing Crosby magazine that I edited to uh, fit the format of the newsletter. So that was kind of a nice honor. And flipping it over to the back side, calling all radio heads, you are invited to the Antique Radio Club Late Spring Swap Meet on Sunday, June 1st. So that is where I will be on Sunday, June 1st from 8 o'clock until 11 o'clock. Probably more about 7 o'clock until 11 o'clock because once again I'm planning on selling some radios. I actually picked up a couple of radios relatively cheap and by relatively cheap I mean they were under $20. Most of them were in the $10 to $15 range and I had a good time fixing them up. They were just simple AA5s, but I think they turned out pretty well. And uh, I'll show you a couple of them now. I've got actually about six or seven radios I'll be taking all together, but uh, some of them I've showed you before, the uh, the Philco, uh, the 253 Philcos. I've actually got two of those with the AM FM. And the 1941 GE and the 1928 Atwater Kent, those you've seen before. But these last two... Uh, will be relatively new. I just completed them in fact this past week. So without further ado, this is a 1951 Philco Transit Tone model 51-531. It's uh, the lighting's not too good down here. The uh, it's unusual because it has no dial light. Didn't come with a dial light because the uh, Dial is pretty much exposed. There was no dial glass. The uh, numbers are molded right into the cabinet, and uh, you know the needle shows through pretty well. So, like I say, there's no uh, no dial light, but it's a nice little Bakelite cabinet model. This thing was absolutely filthy when I got it. It must have been out in a barn or a shed or something, but the uh, I've got a uh, back on it that I made. Actually, I used the uh, old back from my M15 record player. It has a little bit of a crack in it, but, you know, not, nothing major. Anyway, getting back to the uh, condition of it, it was it must have been in a barn because the chassis was just covered with mud. I had to demudify the thing before I could uh, begin to work on it. And once again... Uh, under the chassis was kind of a hack job. You know, I, I said to a old radio owl in one of our messages back and forth that you have to be part detective and uh, part mind reader to figure out what uh, some of these so-called radio repairmen did uh, back in the day, adding components that didn't belong there and different value capacitors that didn't belong there. So after getting rid of one big can capacitor and uh, replacing the other one that, that actually did belong there we finally got it to play and uh, we have to leave, this is actually the cord we have to leave the fluorescent light on so there may be some buzz, I did find a nice strong station though and like I said as you can see there's no uh, no dial light so it's kind of one of those things where some people might think the radio is dead but not the case should come to life uh, relatively quickly. Candidate primary. The two most conservative candidates finished out of the running. Two others advanced to a runoff election. Yet, only last week in Nebraska, the. Don't know how much I'll get with the light on, but. Let's 
check in with Jeff Elconio at the Johnson Bank Sports Desk with the WISports.com update. Jeff? Well, John, question here. Can the Brewers pull out of the tailspin? The crew have dropped four in a row. And yeah, St. Louis slowly they can. creeping up the standings. And the Brewers take on I didn't uh, set up the AM transmitter or anything. I just wanted to do a quick video to show these two uh, radios. But, you know, it's one of those things I'm going to be selling it to meet and uh, you know I'm not looking to make a, a, a great deal of money on it if I could make five ten bucks on it I'd be happy I'm not out to gouge anyone but it's nice when you can bring a radio back to life and pass it on to someone else who's going to appreciate it yeah, I didn't have to put a lot into it basically just uh, replacing the capacitors on a 50L6 tube that was pretty much it on this guy in the short term and long run, it they be did better for uh, us. The Cavaliers won the lottery repaint the, the gold in the knobs. Noting, Cleveland flubbed the number one pick last year. A lot of elbow grease in the cabinet. Anthony Bennett, NBA playoffs, Western get the, Conference Finals game. It's kind of a nice shine to it. There's probably some fingerprints on it for me just handling it. But painted the, uh, painted the white on the needle. Dial indicator, I should say. So that's that one. I will now get the other one out, which is a departure for me because it's not a Philco. This is kind of a neat little guy. It's a Sears Roebuck & Company Silvertone Radio, model 6011. It was manufactured in 1946-1947. has a very nice uh, Bakelite cabinet. Has a nice little handle on top of it. Uh, had to repaint gold. It was uh, sort of, uh, well, it was plated, you know, not really gold. It was just uh, like anodized. And it's got uh, push button uh, settings for a couple of Chicago stations WBBM and WLS. A couple other stations I don't recognize, but it's actually a very nice looking little radio. Turn it around, uh, you know, the back side sort of carries on the, uh, the look of the front. It's all enclosed, the cabinet actually just lifts off the top. And it has a nice uh, blue dial. Actually, it was more of a turquoise color dial. I, uh, the, the turquoise, uh, color was was anodized on the aluminum and it was pretty much all gone it was just silver background because uh, oh evidently the light or the sun or whatever uh, faded it away so I was left with uh, wondering how am I ever going to replace that or replicate that turquoise it was there was still some left uh, above the dial glass and then I thought to myself you know my mother is a bingo player. She likes to go to the casino and play bingo and they have these little uh, daubers they're called D-A-U-B-E-R that they use to mark the numbers on the bingo cards. They have uh, paper sheets and they just daub the uh, numbers as they're called and she has a collection of these things all different colors. So I went and visited her stash and uh, lo and behold I found one that was somewhat turquoise in color so I asked her in a nice way if I could borrow it, and uh, she said yes. I took it into the basement and uh, smeared some of that bingo dauber juice on the back side of the dial scale, and it, it did an awesome job filling it back in again. Did some polish to the clear plastic, uh, which is actually in remarkable shape considering it's 65 years old or older. Clear plastic generally doesn't last to uh, hold up real well. And I painted the gold down below and I even took a... Let's see if I can focus in on this. I even took a toothpick and... Uh, no, not going to want to focus in for me today. Took a toothpick and uh, painted the silver tone uh, uh, logo on the scale. So anyway, let's see if this guy wants to fire up. This one does have a dial light. And there's not much on in Milwaukee radio in the late afternoons. Pretty much all talk radio or sports radio. Hard to find any music on AM except for 1420 The Breeze. 
So let's see what we come up with. This one, the dial scale goes backwards. Starts out low and goes high. Go to go, drive up window, eat well and stay dry. Good return on it. Yeah, okay. So what would be a good return on the real estate? What percent? I'd like to see a 10% cash on cash anyway. We can choose a conservative candidate and still win the seat in the November election. I think the Kentucky Republican voters weren't so sure. Elements pending right now. At New York. Sign the petition. And as we've discussed before, things don't usually move that quickly in Milwaukee, if ever. <laughs> right. They would possible sites even for the new arena. Even before they had closed on the transaction or uh, been approved by the league, they, they did get a tour. So, yeah, he had a good time there, both there, uh, Mark and... So there you go, my uh, latest there, acquisitions. Uh, I wasn't there. Oh, they just were showing Hopefully, uh... Yeah. There'll be someone else's acquisitions in a couple of weeks. That's uh, what, one of the fun things about the old radio hobby. Uh, I've come to the realization, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well, you can't keep everyone that you run across, but it's still fun to tinker around on them and get them to play. And uh, like I said, uh, part of the fun is passing them on to someone else and seeing uh, the joy that they get out of them. So until next time, this is Greg.